how to create a Facebook business page in 2020. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna guide you through how to create a Facebook business page in 2020 from start to finish, step by step. We're also gonna share with you tips that you can use to further optimize your Facebook business page for maximum exposure online. And we're also gonna share some tools that you can use to make your Facebook business page stand out from the rest. Now, before we go ahead and create your Facebook business page, and if you're new to this channel today, consider subscribing and tapping the bell icon to stay updated with new and actionable videos designed to help your small and local business thrive online. And with that covered, let's get started. All right, now the first thing we need to do before we can create our Facebook business page is to sign in or sign up to our Facebook account. Now, if you don't already have a Facebook account, it's free and easy to sign up. All you need to do is fill in your information here and that will sign you up to Facebook. So once you've done that, head over to your personal profile, your Facebook account. And once you're at your Facebook account, all we need to do to create a Facebook business page is to head up to create, click on create, and then click page. Now here we have two options to create a Facebook page. First we can create a Facebook business page for a business or brand or we can create a Facebook page for a community or public figure. Now because we're creating a Facebook business page for a small or local business we want to move over to here and click on get started. Then what we want to do is add our business name or brand name and then enter a category here. So for example we are going to use coffee world as the business example we're going to use to create a Facebook business page. So I'm going to write all that information in now. And then what we want to do is add our category. Now there's heaps of categories to choose from. Just have a look, browse around and find the best representation of your business category. The best category that describes what business you're in. So for us we're a cafe so we're going to pop down and click cafe. Then here what we want to do is add our business address, phone number and choose if we want our address to show publicly. Uh, because we're a cafe we want foot traffic to come to our business so we're going to keep that unticked. So I'm going to add that information now. And once you've added all your business information, just head down and click continue. Then what we're going to do is skip this information for now, as we're going to add that in a second once our Facebook business page is created. And what we want to do is head down here, click exit, and congratulations, you've just created your first business Facebook page. Now the first thing we want to do is unpublish our Facebook business page because we don't have any branding, we don't have any content, we're not ready to have it live online for people to find. So to do that, we need to head over to settings and then head over to page visibility and click edit and then pop down and click page unpublished and click save changes. Then if you like, you can give some feedback. I'm going to click other and then go unpublish. And now your page is unpublished, so click close and head back to your Facebook business page by clicking page here. Now as you can see it's completely blank, we don't have any branding, we haven't added any information. So the first thing we want to do is add business branding. So what we're going to do is add a profile picture. Now this profile picture ideally it should be 360 by 360 pixels. If you do not already have a logo for your business or brand, what you can do is head over to canva.com which is a fantastic free design tool that you can create your own logo, you can design and create your own business material from posters, pamphlets like I said before, logos and other media for different platforms. So canva.com is a fantastic free design tool. We use it all the time. I'll pop in a link down in the description and you can head over and create your own media if you haven't done so already. So what I'm going to do is add update and then upload a photo. So this is an image I've already created using canva.com. As you can see, it's 360 by 360 and I'm going to open. Here you can drag to resize the image or reposition the logo. So I'm happy the way that it is, so I'm going to click save. And there we have it, we've just uploaded our profile picture. And now what we want to do is come up here and add a compelling, engaging and inviting cover photo. So I'm going to head over here and click add cover. And then I'm going to upload a photo. You can choose from videos or photos, but I'm going to upload a photo again that I created using canva.com. So I'm going to click on the cover photo and click open. And there we have it. We've just created our cover photo for our business page. I'm going to click save 
and I'm happy with the way that that looks. Again, you can head over to Canva, like I said before, and just type in Facebook cover, and that's gonna automatically generate a template with the ideal cover photo size, which is actually 820 by 312. So that's the ideal cover photo scale. Now, once you've done that, we've nearly completed our branding. All we need to do is head over here and create a username. Now, in the URL, it's gonna be random numbers at the moment, so when you create your username, you're gonna have a different URL. It's going to be your business name. Click on create page and then enter the username. You want it to be as close to your business name as possible. So I'm going to try Coffee World and as you can see this username is not available so I'm going to add in one two at the end. So that I'm happy with that so I'm going to click create username and now we're all ready to go. And as you can see, we have created our username down here. This makes it easier for people to find our Facebook business page. Remember, you wanna make it as close to your business or brand name as possible. Most of them are gonna be taken if it's a basic couple of words like this. So add a couple of digits at the end of your name until you find one that's available. Now what we wanna do is add a call to action button. So a call to action is something you want people to take action on as soon as they land on your business page. So I'm gonna click add button. And as you can see, we have a couple of different options here. So people can make a booking with you, contact you, learn more about your business, shop with you, or download an app. So for us, we just want people to contact us if they have any questions about our business. So we can choose either send message, contact us, or call now. So we're gonna click send message and then click next. And then pop down here and click messenger. And as you can see, it's already configured with our messenger. So I'm gonna click finish. And there we have it. We've just created our call to action button and you can change that at any time. So again, if someone pops onto the Facebook business page, they can click this and send a message directly to our business messenger, to our chat. And we can start a conversation or we can answer any questions that our potential customers or our customers have. The next thing we wanna do is come down here and click about, and here we wanna add our story. So if you click here, here you wanna add another image. So we're just gonna use our cover photo for now. Then we're gonna add a title, which is just gonna be our business name. And then what you wanna do is write a description about your business here. And you wanna make sure your description is a bit bigger than this. This is just an example, but you wanna have as much information as you can that explains to people what your business is about. You can also add images here or change the way your text looks. For example, a header or you can add bullet points, numbers and so forth. Then once you've done that, click publish. And then what we want to do is add the rest of the information about our business. So to do that, just pop over to edit page information. And here what I'll do is I'll quickly add the information and then I'll go through it all so you understand what information you need to add in this section. Okay, so as you can see, we've quickly added our business information. So if you come down here, the first thing we did is added a brief description about our business. Down here, what you wanna do is add more categories that describe your business. So because we're a cafe, we're a cafeteria, we're also an internet cafe, we've added those three categories down here. And if we pop down to contact, we've already got our phone number down here. It's automatically generated because we added that at the start. And down here, we have uh, left this unticked because we don't have a website for this business because it's just an example for this tutorial. But we do recommend you have a business website because this is gonna help with your exposure, help you grow your business online. Now, if you don't already have a website, what you can do is watch this video that we created not too long ago that guides you through the process of creating a simple free website using Google Site, which is an easy and fantastic way to create a business website. So again, add your website here. If you don't have one, then leave that unticked. Then you wanna add your email address. Pop down here, make sure your location is correct. If not, then you can drag it around. Then keep this ticked if your customers visit your business at your street address. Untick if you wanna hide your address from the Facebook business page like we talked about earlier. Then down here's your service area. You can add more service areas. So we're a cafe, so we service Taringa, New Zealand. Then down here is our opening hours. You can edit that information there. And then down here is a price range. We've left that unspecified. And then you can add a link to your privacy policy if you have one, say for example, on your website. And once you're happy with that, just click save changes and you can exit out of that. Now what we can do if we want to change the way this menu looks here, what we can do is head over to settings. Then under settings, head over to templates and tabs. And here we can come down and drag these different options around or we can edit a tab and change these. You can delete them, you can move them around just by clicking and dragging. 
So I'll leave that as it is for now, but depending on your business type, you can choose which is more relevant for your business. So once we're happy with that, we can head back to our business page. Now, the last thing we want to do to complete our Facebook business page is to add automated messaging. So basically, when someone lands on our Facebook business page, a chat box will pop up straight away and people can interact with our business. So to do that, all we need to do is head over to settings and then head over to messaging. And then to turn on automated messages, just come down here and start a messenger conversation. So click on. Basically, what's going to happen is when people land on your business page, they're going to see this message. So it's going to say their name in here. And then thank you for getting in touch with us on Messenger. Please send us any questions you may have. Now you can change this. All you need to do is click change, pop down here and edit the way you want to personalize your greeting. Again, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click save. And then you can also set up automated responses. To do that, all you need to do is click start setup. And here we have your away message, which is currently turned off. If we turn it on, basically what happens if someone tries to send you a message and you're not online, then they're going to receive a message like this. Now you can edit this message so it's completely different. You can customize it. If we come across here, we can have frequently asked questions and other customized automated responses. So we can turn that on or we can leave it off. We'll leave it off for now and head back to our business page. And congratulations, your Facebook business page is now complete. So what we wanna do is make it live so it's visible on Facebook and people can find us. So to do that, all we need to do is publish our Facebook business page. To do that, we can either click publish Facebook page here, or if you can't see that, you can head over to settings, then click on page visibility and edit, and then click page published and click save changes. And once again, congratulations, your Facebook page is now live. So let's head back to our Facebook page. And the next important thing is to create a post. All you need to do is pop down here and create a Facebook business page post. So it's just like any other post on Facebook. You can add text, you can add a video or photo down here, and then you can tag products. You can check in, say, if you're uh, in a specific location for us, we're in Tauranga, we would check in in Tauranga, and that's going to help with our visibility in our local market. Then you can click get messages so when people see your post they can send directly a message directly to you and then there's other options down here. Now to get the most out of your Facebook business page what you want to do is start sharing your Facebook business page with your friends, your family, your network and what's going to happen is people are going to see that other people in their network are engaging or liking or following your Facebook business page and that opens your business page up to other networks and exposes your business to other potential customers and clients. You also want to add your business page to different relevant groups. So for example if you are a cafe you you want to add your business to different uh, maybe business networking groups or you know coffee lover groups there's thousands of different groups that are specific to your business types you just need to look around depending on the type of business that you're running so find relevant groups add your business page to those groups and start engaging and posting and people will start finding or interacting with your brand and your business page and remember you want to invite people to see your page. So you can do that down here. You can see all your friends and just simply click invite. People in your network will start following your business page. And that's how you can start receiving likes on your business page and start building a community and a following. Now, before we finish up, the great thing about having a Facebook business page is you're going to start showing up online. So if people type in your business name, your Facebook page is going to show up on the first page of Google, most likely, because Facebook is a powerful web Website. It has high domain authority, meaning that it shows up quite high in search engines. So with your business page, you're going to show up in search engines, which is going to help with your online exposure. Then it's also a free business citation, which helps with local SEO, search engine optimization. Basically, when you get likes, when people start sharing your content on your Facebook business page, that's going to show Google that your business is active, that people are interacting with your brand, and that sends social signals to your website, which helps with local SEO search engine optimization, which is a big topic in itself. Also, having a Facebook business page allows you to engage with your community, it helps you interact with businesses, and it helps grow your business brand online, as Facebook is the largest social media platform in the world. So continue posting, you want to post on a daily, weekly basis to start growing a brand, start growing a following. Now, 
create a content schedule that works best for you and then you can post regularly and what that's going to do is grow your brand and online presence and there you have it guys we have just created a Facebook business page and that is it for today's video I hope you found this tutorial straightforward and easy to follow Thank you for watching again if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments down below and before you go feel free to subscribe tap the bell icon and hit the thumbs up button if you got value out of this tutorial and with that said i will see you in next week's video take care